Hey guys, John V here from Phone Arena. Right now I'm taking a hands-on look at the NVIDIA Shield. We saw this back at CES back in January. So here is the thing. It's live here. We're checking out at PAX East in Boston. I'm going to give you just a quick hands-on look at this device. Now, if you guys don't know, this is the uh, portable gaming console from NVIDIA featuring the NVIDIA Tegra 4 chipset. Uh, on top of that, it has a large 4 in, 4 5 inch actually, 5 inch display, 720p, 1280 by 720. And this is meant to be a you know, portable gaming console. It's going to feature 4G LTE connectivity so you can get fast data speeds. So when you're playing games, multiplayer, stuff like that, uh, you're going to pretty much have an instant on-the-go experience. So let's just take a look at the hardware. So this is it. Of course, it's mainly just a, a gamepad uh, at its core. Uh, if, you're, if you're familiar with the Xbox 360 controller, this should be somewhat familiar here. Now, compared to the other controllers, it is a little bit bulky, but then again, you got to think about it. It's packing a 5-inch display and battery and a whole lot more components. A good feel to it. It has a rubbery texture around the sides. you got some this uh, plastic. Looks like a metallic finish, but it is plastic finish to it. It's a nice contrast. You got some shoulder buttons on the side, on the top here. So you have two regular, uh, you know, analog shoulder buttons and uh, two standard digital ones. There's a bunch of different components as far as inputs are concerned. So you can have three and a half millimeter HDMI out. So technically, you can connect it to a television. Um, so you could have the experience on a uh, high def television if you wanted, as opposed to on the, on the handset. Good build quality to it. Good feel, sturdy feel. There's a uh, you know, decent amount of weight. Gives it a nice, uh, good construction overall. You pop it open. First thing you're going to be greeted to is the uh, is the uh, five inch display, uh, 720p display, and you have your gaming controls here. So you have your analog sticks, uh, left and right. So it's uh, you know it adheres to the needs of any power gamers out there. Uh, the uh, digital digital keypad here, uh, the D-pad itself. I'm not really a fan of this type of style. It doesn't feel like you can get a lot of controls. But luckily, all the buttons are nice and raised. Good, solid, tactile feel. And you also have the speakers on the top here. So it's pretty nice with that. So build quality, not, but not that bad. So uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, display next here. All right, guys, so I have the display powered on here, and it's Android-based, touchscreen, full touchscreen, 720p resolution, 1280 by 720 at 5 inches. You know, we've seen some 1080p, 1080p displays out there, but for 720p, it's more than sufficient, nice and crisp. Viewing angles are good, too. It maintains visibility, minimal distortion, and you can tell with the uh, NVIDIA Tegra 4 processor, just doing the normal routine as far as uh, the Android functions are concerned. It's pretty much not an issue here. Let's try and check it out with a live wallpaper here. See how it handles some of the more graphically intensive um, uh, processes. So let's take a look at this. Set to that. Still pretty good. Nice. Opens up most of the stuff. Nice fluidity to it. So very sharp looking display, very responsive too. I'm going to quickly play a game here so we could uh, show you what it looks like um, in real time here so you can see exactly what the performance is like with the uh, new NVIDIA Tegra 4 processor in tow. Just do this really quick. So there is still a little bit of load time. Yeah. And let's take a look. Nice to meet you. Take a look at the graphics oh, here. It's gonna lower the darkness here so you can see the uh, see the, the uh, display here and how crisp the game is. So here we go, folks. Very nice. Very smooth. A lot of different lighting effects. Looks like it's handling everything pretty well. Let's see where we should go here. There we go. So the graphics are really nice, and thanks to that NVIDIA Tegra 4 processor, so far so good. You know, a good amount of smoke effects in play. Usually that tends to bog the most other you know systems down, but it looks pretty manageable here. It's not as quite as intensive right now. With uh, I don't see any any uh, enemies here I could try and go after, but from what I'm seeing, it looks pretty sweet. So uh, no word yet on an official availability date or pricing, but 
hopefully soon guys and right now if you're into gaming or mobile of course you want to take a look at the nvidia project shield so if you want to learn more about this guy check out our website phonearena.com john v thanks for watching guys